this was a very big week at St. Ambrose. We had vacation Bible school. You see all the yellow shirt people. Did you have a good week? How was the week? How was it? Stellar. That was the theme of the week. It was stellar. More than all the skies are the blessings of God. Boys and girls, how was the week? It was amazing. We had over 300 young people and about 140 people working on the team. God bless Janet. She's still standing. Give her a wonderful round of applause. So that was very, 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 very exciting. In the midst of the exciting week, more good news. Father Andrew got a letter from the bishop this week. And on January 15th, when? So thank God we have Father Andrew till January 15th. He'll be going on to be the administrator, eventually pastor at St. Anthony's in Parma. How long do we have until? Very, 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 very good news for all of us. And if that good news is not enough, did you hear the badge of honor that we received in Cleveland this week? We got shocking, overwhelming news. We are number one, Cleveland and the greater Cleveland area. Did you hear about this? You didn't hear about this. We are number one. We are the most stressed city in the world. That's true. That's true, right? So God knows how they measured it. But what a badge of honor. We are number one in terms of stress. Crazy, right? And here's the problem being stressed. Now imagine yourself when you get stressed. What happens? Like we get all tightened up, we get all knotted up, like our heart goes <coughs> and our heart goes fast and, and like literally we become locked up. Yes or yes? Yes, yes or yes? yes? If you don't think you look like this, just ask the person that lives with you, right? Yes. And think about what happens when we get stressed. When you get stressed, we literally tighten up when, like, we, when we get all worked up. We literally become knotted up, literally, literally like this. Yes or yes? yes? Now, here's the problem with that. There's many problems with that, isn't there? But when we get all worked up, all stressed out, all knotted up, here's the problem. Learn a lesson from nature. When we get all knotted up like this, we are like rocky soil. We are like hardened soil. That even in that moment when God wants to help us, so to speak, God cannot even help us. Why? Because when we get stressed, when we get worked up, when we get knotted up like this, then our hearts are not open to receiving the grace, the wisdom, the peace, the healing, the calm, the strength, that God wants to give. Learn a lesson from nature. When we get all stressed out, worked up, knotted up, then our hearts are like that rocky, hardened soil. And in that moment, so to speak, not even God can sow into that heart the seeds of peace, wisdom, grace that we need. And then here's what happens next. Because we're faithful people, yes or yes? yes? Like we come to church, yes or yes? yes? So in that moment when we're all worked up, in a good moment, what do we do? We pray. But when we're like this, then we get even more agitated because we think that God cannot, is not hearing our prayer. Why? Learn a lesson from nature. Listen to the gospel. When we are like this, God cannot sow into us the grace and the wisdom that we need. It's not that God doesn't want to do what God promises. Many are the blessings he bears to those who... So what do you got to do? In that moment, there's three things. When you get stressed out, worked up, knotted up, three things you need to do. Number one, literally, physically, Open your hands, open your arms. It's literally like saying, okay, I'm pushing all the yuck out of the way. I'm going to open up my heart to you, Lord. Secondly, you need to take a deep breath. 
that literally clears the pathway, if you will, so that the seed that God wants to sow can enter in. Step number three, then say a simple prayer, something like this. Jesus, I trust in you. Three steps. Step number one, try it with me. <coughs> Courtney, I know you get stressed. Step number one, <laughs> open your arms. That literally de-stresses you just like that. Step number two, air in, air out. Step number three, Jesus, I trust in you. A trustworthy God who will always do what God's promised. Learn a lesson from nature. When we get stressed out, worked up, knotted up, we're just like this, ask those who know you. We are like hard, rocky soil that not even God, so to speak, can sow into our hearts what we need. Let's do this one more time together. It works young and old alike. Open your arms. Step number two, take a deep breath. And we pray, Jesus, I trust in you.